our lesson will start in five minutes. And today we'll be talking about shopping. So you can start thinking of some vocabulary, some of your experiences about shopping, your opinions about shopping. Welcome, Kanak. You can see our timer. When the time hits, we will start our session. Welcome, Tawhid. Hello. Hello. Okay, for the newcomers, today we'll be talking about shopping. You can start recalling the vocabulary that you know about shopping, and you can start recalling your experiences about shopping. Also, you can maybe think of your experiences and your opinions about shopping. Soon we'll start in one minute. We usually keep our cameras and microphones off. And when I call your names or when you raise your hand, you can start speaking. Thank you. All right, 
Hello everyone, welcome to today's classical speaking workshop. Let me share my screen with you, my presentation, so we can follow everything there. Nope. Yes, there we go. If you have any trouble seeing my screen, please use the chat box or just turn on your microphones to tell me whether you're having any problems or not. If not, I'm starting. Okay. Once again, welcome to today's speaking workshop. Like always, we'll start with a fun tongue twister. I'll say it for two times, one time slowly, one time faster. And after me, if you feel like trying, you can try saying today's tongue twister. It's really good for your pronunciation and it's really a warm start for our speaking session. Okay, let me go. If you can't can any candy can, how many candy cans can a candy canner can if he can can candy can? Let me try saying it faster. If you can can any candy can, how many candy cans can a candy canner can if he can can candy cans? So, who feels like trying? You can use the react button to raise your hand. Anyone? It's not that difficult, just too many cans. And feel free to make errors. We're just here to practice. No one? Yes, Mayor. If you can't candy any candy can, how many candies can scan a candy canner can if he can can candies can? That was great. Thank you for being a risk taker and trying. Okay, Anna. If you can't can any candy can, how many candy cans can a candy canner can if he can can candy cans? That was great. Thank you. Kana? If you, if you can't can any candy can, how many candy cans can a candy canner can if he can can candy cans? Hello. That was great too. Thank you, Kana. Nina? Nina, is your microphone working or are you having any problems about it? If you can't, can, hello? Yes, we can hear you now. If you can, can any candy can, how many candy cans can a candy canner can if he can, can candy cans? <laughs> that was a good try, thank you. Okay, Joe? If you can't, can any candy can, how many candy cans, can a candy canner, can if he can, can candy cans? Oh, you were Joe anyway. So oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I thought you, uh, I heard Nina first, but I think Nina is having a microphone problem. Okay. Maria? He can't can any candy can, how many candy cans can, can a candy canner can, if he can can candy cans. That was great too. Okay. Amsa, Tawhid, do you want to try? Yes, Tawhid. If you can't candy can, candy can, how many candy cans can a candy can say if can, if he can, can candy cans. That was a fantastic. Thank you very much. Amsa, do you want to try? Okay. I think Ansa doesn't feel like trying. That's totally fine. Okay, thank you for being risk takers and try saying it. Okay, what will we learn today? I'll be sharing certain strategies. We'll be working on some vocabulary about shopping. We'll have discussion questions about shopping. I'll be sharing my feedback about your speaking. And today's objectives will be 
you will learn to talk about your feelings about shopping, a description of a shop in that uh, two minutes of discussion part, and your thoughts about shopping. So some tips and strategies for IELTS speaking part. Understanding the question and giving a relevant response is really important. Always be specific and give detailed information as much as you can. You will make some errors. Don't worry about them. Instead, correct your mistake if you can and keep on speaking. And always be confident and smile to give a good impression on the examiner. So we'll work, uh, we'll start working with some vocabulary. Today I have eight words, some of them are nouns, some of them are verbs for shopping. And the definitions will show up one by one. So you can tell me the matching in the um, chat box. And then we can try using them in a sentence. Okay, for one, the amount of money you have available to spend. Uh, which words definition can it be? And the amount of money you have available to spend. Yes. Budget, that's correct. Thank you, Anna. Do you also want to try using it in a sentence? Um, well, my traveling budget was uh, quite short, so I didn't uh, visit it all the places I wanted. Okay, that's usually the case these days. Thank you, Anna. Okay, let's see the next definition. B. The activity of looking at the shops in shop looking at the goods in shop windows, usually without intending to buy anything. Just looking at the windows. Yes, Nina shared win, uh, window shopping. Yes, window shopping, number eight. Eight B is the matching. And Nina, do you want to use it in a center? Do you enjoy doing window shopping? Or if there is anyone else who wants to use it in a sentence, you can. Yes, Joe. Hi, well, usually, uh, usually me and my friend, we always have some time together and we went to some shopping mall, but without any reason, we buy something, even this is not uh, suitable for our things. Okay, so uh, did I hear window shopping part? Yeah, we buy something that we did not intend to buy. Okay, but like, did you use the phrase window shopping in your sentence? Maybe I, I missed that part. I want to use the word window shopping in the sentence. That's it. So you and your friend went to shopping mall just to do window shopping, but without any reason you bought something that you actually didn't need. Yes, that can be. Thank you. Uh, Nina, yes, you can go and come back. I will let you in. Okay, now uh, the third definition comes like this. A reduction in the usual price. Discount. Yes. Yes, Kana, can you try using it in a sentence? Discount. Okay, she left and came back. This Sorry. Count. Yeah. Miss. Uh, discount. Yeah. Can you use it in a would, sentence? Oh, when we go for shopping, sometimes we uh, we are searching for discount. Okay. In the 
whenever you go to shopping, you're searching for the discounts. Yes, that's uh, a correct use of the word. Uh, bargain. Um, so we don't have uh, the word bargain today, but yes, it's one of the uh, vocab uh, vocabulary related to shopping. Okay, the fourth definition, buying goods without planning to do so in advance and without thinking about it carefully. So you're not thinking, you're just buying. You're just buying. Budget is the amount of money we have. Yes, impulse buying. That's called impulse buying. You just feel like buying it then and you just buy it. You're not even thinking about how much it is or whether you need it or not. Uh, impulse buying. Is there anyone who wants to use it in a sentence or shall we wait for the next part? Yes, Tamar. Um, nowadays we are we uh, we spend lots of money in impulse buying, such as when we uh, uh, pass our time in the social media, uh, such as uh, Facebook or Insta. Then uh, many uh, advertisement come to us for online shopping, and without any reason, we buy something without planning, and maybe it's our impulse buying. Yes. Yes, yes, that was very extended uh, sentence. Thank you very much, Kada. Okay, here comes the next definition. Be good at noticing a particular type of thing. So you have something good and you can notice that. Yes, Jo says one, uh, she's correct, have an eye for something. So some people have an eye for, I don't know, fashion or for arts or um, activities, things like that. Have an eye of something. Who wants to use it in a sentence? Yes, Jo? We often we often went to a mall, and then when we when we go to the uh, dressing our clothes station or department, we always buy those fashionable things. Uh huh. Because it's usually catch on our eyes. Okay, so you have an eye for uh, fashion. Yes. Yes, we can say that. Thank you. Okay. Here comes the next. Spending too much money or wasting money. Spending too much money or wasting money. That can be a new word for you. Splurge has a similar meaning too. But I would say spend thrift. Number five for that. Spend thrift. It's the verb um, like you can see the definition to it's spending too much money. It's not to spend. So it's in the noun form. So spend thrift. You can say, although I'm not a spend thrift, sometimes I cannot control myself and I buy things without thinking about my budget. Uh, we can give an example like that. I'm giving the example because it can be a new word for you. Okay. And the next one. To spend a lot of money on something that you don't really need. So now I can say splurge. Yes, number six, splurge. You can like here, maybe you, uh, you say, I tend to splurge when I don't feel emotionally well. You can say something like that. Okay, for the next one and the last one, 
a shop that sells clothes and other goods given by people to raise ma money for a charity. Yes, thrift shop is the answer for that. And who wants to use it uh, in a sentence? Thrift shop. Yes, Mayur. A lot of theft shops over here in locality in order to help poor people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, thank you for sharing your example. Okay. Here comes my next part. It's fill in the blanks. So we have eight words. We have eight sentences. Please try to fill the blanks with the correct word. You can, you may need to change their forms according to the subject. Okay. People who are on budgets usually tend to buy from thrift shops. Thank you, Mariam, for your example too. Okay, number one, discount. Yes, that's correct. They usually give a discount if you buy multiple. That's correct. Discount will be number one. Number two, they display chocolates next to the checkouts to encourage. Flirt or impulse buying. Impulse buying. Yes, impulse buying. So without thinking, you're just getting the chocolate uh, next to the checkout. Okay. Number two goes for impulse buying. Number three, I can happily 2,000 pounds in one day. Now you can think of the verb form here. Splurge, yes. I can happily splurge 2,000 pounds in one day. Some people are lucky. Okay, number four. I'm not a blah, blah. Although sometimes if I see something on sale, I will get three because it's a good deal. Number four, spendthrift. Yes, spendthrift. I'm not a spendthrift. Although sometimes if I see something on sale, I will get three because it's a good deal. Okay. Number five. They frequently went to Manchester to go window shopping. Window shopping. Yes. Some cities are famous for their uh, windows and displays. Apparently Manchester is one of them. Okay. Number six. Local yeah. local thrift thrift shops. Please uh, add the S there because we need to make it plural for upcoming uh, work form. Local thrift shops are booming in the economic downturn. That is the case. Okay, number seven, she. Would I say haven't I? Because my subject is she. Yes, Anna, thank you for correction. She has an eye for fashion. I would say that. Okay, number eight. I'm trying to stay on budget this month. I can't come with you. Okay. So now we practice our vocabulary. Let's start our small talk part. Here you will give me two to three sentences as answers. It will take around uh, 20, 40 seconds. So don't go for extended answers here. And my first question is, do you like shopping? And my sample answer, no, there are too many things I need to decide while shopping. So I do not prefer to go shopping if I don't have to. Please keep an eye on that. Do you like shopping? 
is a yes no question so it would be better if you start your answer with a yes or no okay so now everybody will take a turn Okay, Kanak, let's start with you. Uh, well, uh, yes, I do like uh, shopping because sometimes so when I feel exhausted, I like to go shopping, uh, such as window shopping. I, uh, some, um, uh, when I when I go for shopping. I spent without thinking any uh, matters which uh, which sometimes uh, bother me. And uh, as, um, in the shopping mall, uh, I spent my time just like uh, a free bird. Uh, it's not necessary that I'll buy many things. Uh, maybe I'll buy one or two things with my small budget. But uh, nowadays we have no... Um, uh, for in uh, in my city, there are no parks or so many or so many entertainment or places where I can go for my entertainment, where I can go uh, pass my weekend properly. That's why uh, I I'd like to go for shopping. I I like to go for shopping and uh, um. Okay. Thank you. Let me remind you again, like two to three sentences will be enough here, okay? Okay, Anna, let's move on with you. Uh, no, I hate shopping because it's usually very time consuming and uh, most uh, supermarkets, they are full of people and I hate uh, uh, crowded places as well. So I uh, do sh I, I go for shopping only unless it's really necessary and I really need something. Okay, thank you, Anna. Joe? It's been quite often when since pandemic uh, uh, impact us. So I usually stay at home and don't want to go anywhere, which is it will be safe for me because uh, like it's something like I can save my, my, my time, my energy on focusing something rather than to go for shopping and doing nothing and, and searching for the things that it will be costly for me. Okay, thank you, Joe, for sharing. Uh, next, let me remind you, everybody will have a turn to speak here. Nina? Uh, hello, mom. Hello, your microphone is working. Okay. Um, yes, absolutely. Shopping is my guilty pleasure, and I like it when, um, when I uh, shop online because nowadays it is common for the people to purchase a lot of things online rather than in the past that you need to go to the mall which is um very convenient nowadays thank you nina okay maria I love shopping because I'm not the one who is responsible by uh, with the money. My father is. So if I want anything, my father is the one who is paying for it. So, so that's why I like shopping. Um, sometimes my father doesn't actually agree on what I uh, want because he thinks it is uh, not necessary and I wouldn't use it. Okay, thank you, Marianne, for sharing your answer. Answer? Hi, ma'am. Uh, uh, no, I don't like to go to shopping because it's really time consuming for me. And secondly, it is exhausting um, uh, for me. I've got a small kid, and if I take her with me, and, um, I feel really exhausted and I feel distracted all the time, so I cannot shop properly. And I cannot decide at the moment. So I have to take time uh, to do that. So I don't go very often. But sometimes when it's really necessary, then I go for shopping. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ansa. Uh, Mayur? 
Uh, no, I don't like shopping. There's a lots of things that are need to be done before shopping. And my sister spends a lot on uh, things she do not need. So I tend to stay away from shopping. Okay. Uh, did everybody speak? Did everybody have a turn? Yes. I'm taking notes, but sometimes I can really miss. So please tell me if I missed anyone. And okay, I will let someone in because we are. I think we can have one more person. Hello, Ambrina. Sorry, I couldn't let you in before because our class was full, but I saw you waiting there. Now one person left, so I can let you in. We're in small talk part, so we're answering the questions one by one. And maybe you can answer that question too with uh, two to three sentences. Do you like shopping, Ambrina? Do you want to answer that question, Ambrina? Do you like shopping? Okay, if not, let me move on to next question so you can feel more warmed up. Okay, my next question is, do you prefer shopping alone or with others? And my sample answer is like, Although it is good to take someone's opinion, I prefer to go alone because I can idle for as long as possible. Do you prefer shopping alone or with others? Okay, who wants to start? Yes, Anna. Uh, usually it depends on what exactly I should buy. For example, if it's just a um, small uh, shopping to buy vegetables or some uh, un unnecessary stuff or just window shopping, yes, I can go with somebody else. But uh, usually if I uh, really need something, especially if it go comes uh, to clothing and uh, my personal stuff, I would prefer to go alone. Thank you. Did you mean grocery shopping? Yes, grocery shopping, grocery right. store shopping, vegetables, this yes, kind of stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, come on, let's hear from you next. Yes, come on. Do you prefer shopping a lot or with others? Okay, I think Kanak is not ready. Uh, Maria? Do you uh, tell me or? I can't hear you. Uh, yes, Maria. Do you prefer shopping alone or with others? Well, I prefer shopping alone because uh, I wouldn't put uh, myself or anyone else would, wouldn't put my, uh, me on time limit. So I could uh, uh, take my time on any shop that I want. And uh, like any everyone knows, everyone has different uh, opinions. So someone would like to go to different shops than me, than I would. So uh, I like I prefer shopping alone. So I would uh, take my time and everything, and uh, go to every shop that I want without uh, anyone uh, talking to me or uh, or anyone uh, getting to make me to get distracted. Okay, thank you, uh, Ambrina. Uh, hello, ma'am. Hello. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, I I would like uh, to go. I sorry. Uh, I like to go to the shopping alone uh, because, uh, uh, as Mariam said, uh, I don't like uh, to interrupt in my 
opinions and uh, in my things that uh, uh, i because of my uh, my choice is little bit hard so <clears throat> i don't like if someone say that it is not good and that i like it so that's why i like to go alone okay thank you ambrina uh joe in this part uh, usually i do go with some of my friends why because it very helpful to define those things that i buy usually like whenever i re whenever i brought something i ask their opinion if it's it's if it's really good or is it something like i can have more more other options so i prefer to have someone with me okay thank you um yes i it really depends on the shopping i am going for uh, because if i am going for uh, my house grocery then it is really straight forward i can buy it easily uh, um, and if it is for clothing and shoes and stuff like that um, i usually need someone else opinion so i take somebody with me so that i can buy uh, quickly and easily with some other uh, someone else opinion So okay it depends yeah. it depends it's another perspective uh kamak uh well uh, uh it depends so if i go for uh, buying if i go for shopping for my uh, household stuff then i'll take someone with me but when i go to the shop uh to buy something for me uh then most of the time i i prefer to be alone uh i don't like to uh, someone interference in my fashion or my uh, uh daily accessories which i uh, use uh but when it's uh, it comes for the matter of a uh, gifts or another thing i'll take opinion for others um, i am not like that opinionated person uh uh i i will not take someone with me uh basically it depends okay thank you uh nina personally i rather um shop alone for the reason that i enjoy the sense of solitude when shopping when shopping and aside from that um I am uh, I don't want others to judge my preferences in choosing um what I like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh my your last with you. Oh, yes I prefer shopping with my family. My father helps me with my clothing stuff. My mother usually helps me with my grocery especially vegetables. I don't know how to select them. If it's other stuff like uh, food stuff, cakes and all, I prefer it to take it with my sister. Okay, thank you very much. Uh you all have different experiences and perspective about it, so it was very nice for me to listen to you. Okay. So, here comes our discussion section 2. Here you will have 1 minute to prepare and 2 minutes to speak. You can use the vocabulary we just practiced in your speech. In that task you should say you should describe a shop you like going. You should say where it is, what type of people go there for shopping, what types of goods are sold there and explain why you go there and like it or dislike most about it. So it can be any type of shop, it can be a stationery shop, it can be a supermarket, it can be a clothing shop, it can be a music shop. so uh it's totally about you you can read the uh sample answer here and prepare your own speech if you don't have any questions uh about this let me start my timer for one minute so you can get ready for your task okay a shop you like going
And like I always say, don't go answer them one by one. Instead, try to give a big uh, speech, like a whole with beginning, middle, and end. Okay, let me start my timer now. Okay, one minute has ended. And I will start my timer for two minutes as well. Okay. Who feels ready to start? Describe a shop you like going. Uh, Mayur, let's start with you. And I'm setting my timer for two minutes. So when you hear the beep, please try to like uh, wrap up. Okay, there you go. Okay, when it comes to shopping over here, uh, we uh, we as a family prefer uh, one-stop shopping supermarkets like Demart over here. We go over there because it's a lovely place. Uh, all over people, uh, people from native places come here to. Uh, buy stuffs, especially when it's related to grocery and uh, clothing stuffs, because it's a combination of both uh, grocery market and a shopping market. Uh, we have a lots and lots of variety of uh, clothes and foods over here, so we prefer going there. Uh, and when it comes to uh, cheap, cheap buying, cheap buying of stuffs, we prefer Demart. Uh, rather, it doesn't have any kind of uh, growth, uh, high class growth. Uh, clothing stuffs and anything, but it's good for uh, middle-class families and for people who prefer budgeted buyings and uh, family stuffs are more interested over here. You can buy electronic stuffs, you can buy your table, furnitures, furniture or anything that you want over here. And uh, grocery stuffs are usually like, uh, you can buy vegetables, uh, food stuffs like uh, cakes and all. Uh, clothing stuffs, it's available for both men's, ladies, children's and all. Family stuffs mostly. Uh, you can also buy uh, stationary stuffs like uh, uh, your pens, pencils, your books and all. So it's a good uh, experience for all families and members over here. Uh, it's one of India's biggest supermarket chains over here. And uh, it's growing nowadays with market cap all over India. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. That was almost two minutes. Thank you. Okay, Mariam, let's hear from you. My favorite store, it is located in a nearby mall. Uh, it is near where I live. Uh, I really like this shop. It is called h and I, I think uh, everyone knows what it is. It's a really wide known shop. Uh, it, uh, it is um, international i like it because uh, all the clothes that i find there are it fits my style uh, the only thing that i think that uh, annoys me that it is a little bit overpriced uh, i mean i can't uh, argue with this because uh, all the clothes there are good quality and uh, good material uh, uh, but on sales you could find really um really good pieces of clothes uh, clothes uh, on the budget you are looking for uh, in this shop you can find re uh, really different um, kinds of styles not only one and for different ages and also different genders females and uh, males uh, i i go to this shop um, it depends on how much i go to this mall i usually visit this mall two to three times a month uh, and um, 
and I really like it because um, the different different um, clothes that you can find there. Okay, thank you very much. I like H and M too, so I feel you. Okay, Joel, let's hear from you next. Hi. Uh, basically, uh, I used to go to to shopping mall, which is the name Al Maria Mall here in Abu uh, here in Abu Dhabi City. This mall is a huge wide, and then most of the time I spend my time in the department, which is department store department, which is I can use and buy the the necessary things that uh, that I require in my daily life. And then most of the time I see those people, like all of them, like in family member and then most of the time they hang out and they go after after hang out walking on all in a huge mall they eat after all and also i eat after after i get some things that i need and then i love that that mall because it's 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 a uh, very uh very comfortable with me because there's a lot of discounted in term in terms of apartment twice which is uh, the necessary thing food uh, clothes and then uh, also the mobile phone that I used to buy there. It's very cheap and it's very helpful. All the stuff there was very, very, very uh, convenient stuff. They helped me in terms of what I what I need to buy, what I need to do, and something like that. And most of the time I spend uh, uh, I spend in the mall like. Uh, two to three hours like that mm -hmm. and then after that one uh, I used to go to some some good places after mulling like in the park having ta having good time with some friends talk and everything at all okay thank you very much uh Kanak, let's continue with you well thank you uh the shopping mall i usually went it it is near uh, my residential area and the mark, uh, shopping mall name is unimart it is it, it's a supermarket a uh, super shop uh, under one roof i got everything which uh, which needed in our daily life every stuffs uh, uh, so household stuffs uh, or or uh, food stuffs or uh, clothing stuffs accessories jewelry even uh, furniture or uh, 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 all the all the mm, stuffs which i we need in our life uh, if, um, uh, most of most of the time uh, the people from uh, middle class economy or uh, uh, higher class economy people are going there. Uh, it's uh, if I um, speak honest, it's not for the um, uh, uh, low income people. Um, uh, when I uh, try to buy my uh, family needs, oh uh, sorry, when I go, sorry. Okay. I want to, no, I, I want to speak some. Um, I usually go there because um, in one place I can get everything. Um, I can buy my vegetables or clothes. Even uh, I, I can buy the local products and foreign products also. All the products are available here. Um, and uh, sometimes... Um, very good quality products also i go i get there uh, my husband also la uh, loves their uh, shoes they uh, they keep some shoes which are very uh, good quality okay thank you thank you very much kamak okay anna let's continue with you well, even though I don't uh, really appreciate shopping, from time to time I go shopping with my friends because actually they invite me because they think that I have an eye for uh, fashion and uh, they uh, need my advice. So we go shopping to buy some clothes and all these uh, uh, brands uh, shop uh, brands shops they are located in the cent center of the city. 
So to get there, we need to plan our schedule because sometimes it can take us uh, one day to go to, to do shopping. And what I noticed uh, in these shops, they are full of uh, young girls who wants to be fashionable, who wants to be up to date. So uh, usually the people who go there, it's like young people and uh, people who take care of their appearance. Uh, uh, what, uh, what is sold there, it's uh, usually it's clothes and uh, mostly it's clothes from the latest collection. But I don't really like this kind of shops. I'm talking about Zara, Bershka, H&M, Lindex, because I think the quality of goods, it's not really great. And um, it's a little bit overpriced for the quality that they propose. That's why I don't buy their things often. But of course, because I need to wear some kind of clothes, I'm trying to uh, make a list before uh, going shopping, not to splurge a lot of money and stay on a budget. Okay, thank you very much, Anna, and thank you for integrating the vocabulary we just practiced in your speech. Thank you. Okay, who wants to continue next? We have Amsa. Hi. Um, the, uh, the shop I like to go is the one which has lots, of, uh, which has variety of uh, stationery and arts and crafts stuff. Mm -hmm. So I usually go to one of the shop that is uh, not very uh, close to my house, but it has uh, 15, 20 minutes drive, but it's a very uh, huge shop because it has a food court in it as well. So it has a children playing area as well. So my children can play over there and I can spend my time while shopping. So that is a, a shop I like to go. And it has a variety of uh, arts and crafts stuff and uh, which I like. And I can use it on many different occasions and I can use that for my uh, creative activities as well. So, uh, and it has um, the many different kind of stationery, uh, including pencils, colors and notebooks um, and uh, some other stationery stuff, which I really uh, need. Uh, so I can full set my all the needs of stationery and arts and crafts from there mm. and i can spend my time in uh, in food court area as well uh, that's the one of the shop and the people of all the ages go over there and and they can uh, do their shopping that i have noticed while uh, visiting that shop mm -hmm. okay Thank you, Ansa. Uh, Nina, let's finish with you. Okay, man. Uh, there are um, a lot of shops that um, I can't think of, but one thing that, um, that struck on my mind is actually a beauty shop from my country called the Beauty of Youth. It um, it sells different um, skincare products and a lot of females, whether young and old, are actually uh, uh, um, a, uh, a customers of this shopping center. And what I like about this shop is they, they offer a plethora of skincare products, which includes serums, creams, and lotion in order to make the girls feel beautiful. The reason I go there from time to time is to purchase my favorite serum, which is made of collagen. And what I like about um, going on that store is that they offer a service wherein people can actually um, order online. And on the same day, they, they can pick up the products at the store, which is really convenient and the saves time of the people. However, there are um, disadvantages that um, that the uh, that they have 
actually they offer a lot of discounts so people tend to splurge their money on unnecessary things okay thank you very much okay thank you all i will share my feedback in the end we have one uh quick discussion part two here you will choose one question and you will speak only for one minute not very long so please try to stay within the time limit how have shopping habits changed over recent years and to what extent does advertising affect how people shop so this is a deep discussion part choose one question and answer it in one minute please okay okay amsa let's start with you in the recent years yes obviously the shopping trends have been changed uh, due to the pandemic um, the online shopping was a culture uh, before the pandemic as well but uh, during that uh, covid era the shopping trends uh, have been changed people usually uh, people bought many things uh, in these 2 3 years online uh, no there are uh, uh, in these 2 3 years there have been advancement in the online shopping there were there are many facilities now there are uh, many different websites which are uh, trustworthy and people can buy easily from those uh, websites so these trends have been changed i have noticed this thing um, okay. thank you it's one minute already thank you very much amsa uh next joe actually i will be based on re and on online what we face nowadays actually uh uh, uh shopping was changed due to some because of due to the pandemic now we used to shop most of the time in online so this uh, online shopping it's really helpful because it's um not time consuming it's very affordable it's very uh very helpful to those family who was not able to go outside because of their uh for their reasonable uh experience and then um it it uh it show how how technology goes fast because uh usually uh the formal shopping mall was you you need to go to the mall and buy something what you require and nowadays you can just click and use your mobile and then you will granted whatever you want so the technology nowadays is usually very fast and fast growing and very helpful to to the each and every one especially when we have some experience from the pandemic or whatsoever okay thank you jo anna uh well the way we make shopping uh, have changed drastically this years mostly because of modern hectic lifestyle of people and uh, that's why uh, a lot of people do shopping online but even uh, those people who still uh, prefer traditional ways of shopping uh really we are proposed a lot of stuff except shopping for example in the uh, uh supermarkets and big stores we cannot just shop we also can buy food we go to a coffee we go to, go to the cinema there are um uh spaces uh, proposed to advertise um, entertain our kids so that's why i think that shop shopping became more convenient and the customers became uh, more demanding Uh, because of the um, choice uh, we are proposed okay thank you uh, mayor i would like to answer the first question uh, right. digital marketing is a thing that has boosted the marketing uh, Mar uh, the shopping experience of people's over time uh, leading companies like uh, amazon flipkart uh, and many more have changed the experience for user Uh, where user can uh, stay home and uh, search for their requirements according to their needs and can receive them according to at their own places but this eventually can uh, make impact on them definitely positively as well as negatively 
their user experience to products can be decreased also their habit of uh, moving outside of the house for needed things can also be decreased so it can be that uh, some things are in favor as well as not but preferably yes for some people those who cannot leave their homes it's preferable to be used and it's good for them thank you very much okay next This part is a bit optional, so if you want, if you don't want to share, yes, Kamar. Uh, well, uh, nowadays, uh, shopping habits has changed drastically. Well, in our early days, uh, uh, in in my early days, I saw that uh, people uh, go for shopping only for their necessary stuffs. Frequently, they were not uh, uh, pause, pausing their time in the shopping mall. But nowadays, we not only go for shopping for uh, buy our uh, necessary stuffs, but also for window shopping and also uh, passing our uh, time just for en entertainment. Uh, we go for a shopping mall for for. Uh, uh, take coffee or uh, or tea or uh, spending time with our friends also and uh, 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 another thing is I can mention that uh, nowadays people not only go for shopping physically we also uh, do shopping by online many online uh, online uh, uh, seller pages or companies uh, come to our so, uh, social media in our uh, smartphone uh, when we open for uh, Facebook or uh, Instagram, Twitter, and we can buy many things uh, uh, from our home uh, only using our cards, credit or debit cards, uh, which was not not uh, uh, previously introduced to our or to the uh, uh, people when the technology was not so uh, first or higher. Okay. That's Thank all. you, Tanak. Uh, like I said, this part is more like optional. Anyone else who wants to state any opinion for this deep discussion part? Ambrina, Nina, if you want to speak, yes, Nina. Last call. Yes, Nina, you can turn on your microphone and answer one of the questions. In the past, people actually people need to go to the shopping centers in order to purchase the goods they need. And before they used to be practical. But due to the leaps and bounds of technology in this neoteric era the um, online shops have um, developed which is really convenient for the people because in just the flick of their finger they can order a wider range of goods and services and apart from that it is good for the environment because people don't need to travel anymore so the carbon emissions from cars are reduced okay thank you nina uh, Ambrina, do you want to speak? Yes. Yes, Ambrina, you can turn the microphone. And yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I have lost my connection, so okay, that's fine. why I was. I have joined it again. Uh, okay, ma'am, I will answer the first question sure. that um, uh, before, um, means before few, a few years before, people were used to uh, go, shop, uh, go to shopping malls and uh, utility shops and uh, different types of markets for their shopping and their needs. But nowadays, the uh, trend has been shopping. Uh, sorry, the shopping has been changing to online, 
and um, online shopping so this is uh, this um, changes the uh, habits of the people uh, uh, to uh, they feel uh, it harder to go to the shops and uh, uh, physically uh, shop but uh, nowadays uh, people prefer to uh, to do online shopping I think your time has ended and I think your connection is a bit problematic again okay so it's already the time they prefer online shopping so the because of the commercial they prefer online shopping for brands okay Ambrina thank you although we couldn't hear the last part because of the connection but thank you for sharing your answer uh like this is more like practice session answer so i i'm just trying to help you to speak more okay so in actually the examiner wants to hear your own opinion about the uh, current issues as you can see the questions are like that too so one minute of like deep opinion sharing can be the expectation and here you can see the speaking band district descriptors public version you can just google it and find that document too this is how i give you feedback about your uh, speech today like always i will share it quickly and meanwhile while waiting for your feedback uh, i send a feedback form in chat box you can fill that feedback form uh, for us so we can improve our lessons so joe is joe here oh she already left okay anna thank you for coming today um everything was really good with your answers your vocabulary was very flexible very content related your organization was very good um i couldn't recognize any errors today in your speech so everything was really good. They usually don't like cut you, but they remind you about your timing and everything. And they really respect, I mean, they don't keep cutting you, okay? They just ask you to wrap up your question, they wrap up your answer, okay? And answer? Thank you also, like, I really like your answers today too. But in some parts, I heard like you were repeating yourself a little bit, like uh, you had one or two arguments and you kind of kept uh, repeating them. Instead, you can paraphrase the sentence you're using. You can still say the same, but in different words, in different uh, parts. Uh, is Kanak here? Yes. Kanak, like, um, I can see that like you have the knowledge of the language. Only thing is your organization can be better because sometimes you are hesitating about what you're gonna say. It's usually because of the organization. Maybe you don't know what to say next. Maybe you can't think of what to say next. That's why um, you can like organize your speech a bit uh, better. Thank you, Anna. See you. And kind of, I would say today you're about like seven, a uh, band of seven. I usually avoid giving you bands because this is not real exam environment. It's just like practice. Yes, Nina, I'm coming to you. I'm like going one by one. And yes, kind of, I heard your self correction. Only recommendation is try to organize your answers better. Is Mayor here? Yes. Mayor, your grammar was good. Your vocabulary was really good. Your organization was really good. Only thing, sometimes you hesitate as well. You say, uh, 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 like this, that gives you the impression of some hesitation and some fluency issues to the examiner. 
So you may avoid uh, using a, 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 a lot and you may avoid hesitate. You can just keep on speaking, okay? But I really like that. I would say around 7.5, 7, 7.5. Nina, I like your speech as well. Your grammar was good. Your vocabulary was good. And sometimes, yes, you also need to improve your organization too. But overall, I will say it's 7, 7.5, Nina. Um, that was like quite enough for today's practice. Mariam is not here. Ambrina, yes, you're here. Ambrina, I can say that like you have the knowledge, you have the vocabulary, you have the grammar structures, but sometimes you have difficulty in putting all of them together. Uh, that's why I recommend you to work on your organization. Maybe you can write down some sample answers for the questions for general topics so you can organize it better. Other than that, I can simply say that, uh, yes, you have the language. So thank you for coming today. You can always visit our website for uh, library part and to practice. And our next speaking session will be on uh, Wednesday. But before that, we will have other types of lessons. Thank you for joining today. And don't forget to fill the feedback form and I'm saying goodbye to you. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. See you. Bye.